This is the wood we gotta chop, but I picked up a new ax. I just had to. I saw it and I had to get it. It's a Campbell's vintage ax with a with a hand carved handle, ash handle. I got it from Vintage X, Vintage Edge. I'll uh, put a link on his Instagram, but he makes some really nice axes. And this is a double bit. I actually used it. I had to use it. I had to use it a little bit. I had to test it out. But what I want to do is protect it. So I'm going to protect it with some paracord here. Um, it's going to be my first time wrapping an axe to protect it. But watch the University of YouTube and uh, I'm going to try it out. But yeah, look at the the action on that. That's a nice, a nice splitting. Nice splitting axe. Not too big. Something I, I could carry around when I'm in the bush. But um, I actually have another one that I bought off of him. That's uh, that that's for splitting. And it's going to be ready in about maybe another week to pick up. Um, but I saw this one. I just had to have it. It's so nice. It's so nice. And he made me a, a little sheath that goes on there. But yeah, this this I tested it out a bit, but that, that could be come up with some some polish. But these things are razor sharp. Razor sharp. But yeah, let's get this axe all uh all wrapped up so I can split some wood. I'm gonna wrap it with I got two different colors here, Princess Auto. I picked this stuff up. Um Paracord five fifty paracord and I got black and green or like some camo I think I'm gonna go with the with the green I think that'll be a nice color so let's wrap this up okay let's get you guys situated up here wrap the X there it is 30 inch ash handle beautiful X it's so nice, but you know this actually is gonna this axe is gonna be used, and uh, it's uh, just want to protect it. It's so nice, such a nice axe. But let's put it in here and uh, start wrapping it. Okay, so the tools I'm gonna be using. Needle nose pliers, exactly knife. Try it out quickly. This is a hard. All 
this axe is like a laser. Let's do this like butter. I'm not even swinging that hard. Done. Kind of moved a little bit. Yeah, I might put some glue on this. On the top ones too. Yeah. I think I'll put some glue on the top ones. Okay, so that was this axe. Again, I'll put the link on the description, but this guy makes some really nice axes. And this thing, you can see it cut through that like a laser, but it came down a bit, right? And uh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna make sure that's covered and protected. So let me try to fix that. So this is what ended up happening. I redid the whole thing all over again from top to bottom. Like I said, it's my first time wrapping an ax. So, you know, um, I gotta test it out, see if it unravels or anything. And then once I know what works the best, I will uh, post a more detailed video on how to, how to wrap an ax. But this is definitely something that I want to keep for a long time and uh, save the handle as much as I can. Um, like this is a vintage axe head with a hand carved handle. So a lot of work was put into this. Um, again, it's vintage tools. The link is in the description of who I got this axe from. Makes really nice custom axes. Um, I can't wait to get the other one that I initially got off of him but he's in the process of making it for me, the handle and everything. But uh, yeah, this is one that I'll be able to put in like my backpack and take on, take with me into the, into the back country and uh, do some, do some bushcraft videos with. It's nice and light, three and a half pound, I think the, the head is, and it's only 30 inches. So it's, uh, 
you know, it's not too big and it's very maneuverable, but really happy with this X. And uh, yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, on to the next video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.